sent Logan out yesterday to dig up some rocks. It looks like he was uh, struggling and made a made a mess on this one. So I don't know if it's that big or. Glad he was trying. Yeah, I gotta apologize to my son. That, uh, that, <laughs> that's a big one. Uh, I made a mess. You know, we spend all this money on chemicals and stuff. And sometimes you wonder, you know, it, especially you get a few weeds. It's like, man, I just don't think the pre merge product worked. And then you accidentally leave some somewhere and you go, oh, yeah, yeah, it, it's working. <laughs> Oof, duh. My burn till beans even grew. Ha! Not very big. Whoa, getting off on my road. Well, we had a pretty good hay crop. I think we got, uh, bales or something like that so compared to uh, last year <laughs> but we actually had rain this spring or some rain it's actually wet down in there I didn't want to get stuck so I didn't even mow it but usually it's wet down in here and it was dry I think. didn't even sink in so Yeah, stack them up here and the guy that buys it since I don't have any cattle, haven't had any cattle for quite a while, we just sell it. Major carryover issues, all kinds of stuff. Well, you can tell how pitiful these beans look, but it's all over. Got a lot of acres that look like look like crap. You know, they should look like that. I guess it's. It's hard to tell at this point. Hopefully they grow through it. A good rain would 
probably help, but I don't know. It's it's not good. A lot of spots it'll be the lower lying areas, but like here it's kind of on this hilltop. So I think we got several different several different things going on, but yeah, I don't I don't think that's gonna yield very good. <laughs> Well, I have some pretty substantial problems in some of my beans, so I'm going to try some of this stuff. I don't know. Might be a waste of money. So this stuff is supposed to be like one to two quarts per acre, so blast about 33 gallons. That's, uh, so this is two quarts to the acre on the second pass in this field, so I don't know. See how it, see if it does anything. I don't know. All well, we can do is try. Of course, my disaster's always got to be right by the highway where everybody sees them. So that's always convenient. This is what the beans should look like. They should not look. Yeah, this is what they should look like. Very aggravating. Here's another spot that makes me wonder if it's carryover because there was some water that stood right there, I think. And like that extra water flushed out whatever carryover chemicals there was, possibly. I don't I don't know. It's freaking weird. Imagine there's another 12 rows here and the sprayer's coming and shutting off, doubling up. Uh yeah. It, uh, it literally killed them here. I guess there's a little green. Um, I, I don't think them are coming back. Nice, huh? Nice, nice. Well, so you don't think I'm just a terrible farmer. I do have some decent looking ones, but these are in list as well, but neighbor's beans are dicamba and these are all, I mean, they're not bad, but they are, they are cupped up from the dicamba. Oh, well, I ain't gonna worry too much about it. <clears throat> They did kill a little bit of my beans. Yeah, they killed killed a row or two of mine, but oh well. It happens, right? up from the dicamba but a lot of no nodules or whatever so hopefully these are gonna be some uh, some record breakers I'm gonna I'm gonna need them compared to some of my other ones this might make the old 9500 grunt Kind of 
painful. It's funny, the time you can't forget how bad this job sucks. Couple spots, I gave them a little extra. Probably too much iron. Uh, you know. If you know, you know. I, it, uh, it didn't help. <laughs> 